At the old company I used to work for, I had a workmate. For the sake of his own privacy, for this story, let's call him... Andrew Tate. Now, Andy is an interesting fella, okay? Um, he was a four-foot Cambodian-Australian bloke. His hobbies included cryptocurrency, gym, Muay Thai, and red pill politics. Look, I have very strong political convictions myself. I run a political YouTube channel for Frick's sake. Um, <laughs> back in university, I used to only be mates and surround myself with uh, leftoid people. But the older I got, working different jobs, getting more life experience, looking back at that time in my life, I think that's kind of immature. At present, when it comes to friendship, I have a different kind of ethos. At the end of the day, as long as we can share a beer and crack a few jokes, I don't mind being mates with anyone from any background. The way I see it, if you bring value to my life, I'm more than happy to overlook any sort of perceived detriments. As long as your ideology does not cause a detriment to my life, doesn't hurt anyone, and the positives outweigh the negatives. I'm a fairly easy, open-minded bloke to have a friendship with. Tell me a dirty joke about yourself, and we will be friends, and so on. It works. Uh, it's not a joke. I checked it up with my Australian friends. It's not a joke. I repeat it. Anyway, back to Mr. Tate. While me and Andrew had our differences, we bonded over our mutual interests such as Muay Thai and the UFC. One day, in the break room, he was telling me the story about how his parents gave him 20 grand and he turned it into 100 grand through crypto. To his credit, he wasn't lying, I checked his portfolio from what I understood. Uh, Tatey Boy came from a very well-off family. For the Zoomers in chat, um, a private school boy energy. He mentioned offhand the fact that his auntie gave him money and he invested it and made her two grand into 20 grand. A few days roll past, I bump into him again in the staff room. I ask a few questions. I ask him if I'm looking to get into crypto, do you have any recommendations? What coins to invest in? What apps to use? He looks me dead in the eye and says, give me six months and if you give me $500, I'll turn it into five grand. <laughs> Anyway, cut to eight months later. My motorbike gets stolen. Not very solid in cash. Pulling money out of my liquid assets, I call Andy, tell him, Hey boss, <laughs> hey boss, <laughs> hey boss, my motorbike's been stolen. I need money real quick to buy it. I need money real quick to buy a new one. A very reasonable request. All of a sudden, it's a waterfall of excuses. You don't understand crypto, I can't pull it out now, it will look bad on my portfolio, it's not a good time, I'll send it to you next week, blah blah blah. Ma 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 ma. Ma 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 ma, shut your mouth mate. You're a do- I tell him, don't fuck with me, I've had situations like this that have dragged on for months. I'm not going through the stress of following up money ever again. If you don't want it to look bad on your portfolio, take it out of your savings and send it to me that way. And then he says back to me, I'm not allowed to touch that money. Then I say to him, but why can't you touch that money? Crickets. Absolute fucking crickets. During the eight months, I've intermittently checked up on my investment. Tate over here never really gave me much confidence. It's down this month. 10% down, 20% down, it's 2% up. You won't really make much profit pulling it out now. 50% down. Uh, for legal reasons, I can't confirm or deny what happened next. Let's just say uh, an RB smash occurred and, and heated words were exchanged in a Minecraft alleyway. Um, I did get my money back, if you are wondering. Um, but I bring up this anecdote because I think it's really relevant to the broader topic of red pill ideology. Furthermore, I personally believe this is emblematic of how flawed the red pill belief system is and how flawed the lifestyle of the top G movement is. In one sentence, simply put, with the red pill, there is fundamentally a lack of integrity. Victory is out of the question for you. Strength and isolation can be good. Being physically strong and healthy can be good. Being financially stable can be good in isolation. If you just make these things your markers for success, you are setting yourself up for failure. If you go to the gym and build muscles, good for you. If you make a shit ton of money, good for you. If you train hard and get better at martial arts, good for you. Do you want to know who made who stronger? It wasn't Tate who did that. 
it was you. Never attribute your own success to another man. Rhytoids and red pill tards always say masculinity is a protective force for good. I feel like that framework is way too naive and simplistic because while yes that can be true it fails to take into account masculinity is also the primary destructive force of the world. People are gonna make fun of me for this but fuck you this is this is my YouTube channel it's the goddamn pixel lips of this motherfucker. <laughs> Um, I view masculinity like a Jin Shiriki. For, for those who don't watch Naruto, this analogy is not going to make any sense. Uh, in the lore of Naruto, a Jin Shiriki is a demon spirit that lives inside some shinobis. In terms of Naruto lore, a Jin Shiriki is simultaneously two different things. It can either be a great mental detriment for a shinobi, but it can also be an incredible asset for a shinobi if used correctly in battle. If channeled correctly, a Jin Shiriki can let you surpass the limits of a regular shinobi's ability. In my opinion, every man in the West has their own Jinchuriki that they are dealing with and understanding on a daily basis. Drowned in despair, this is the power of Madara Uchiha, divine power! Oh yes, tarnished are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Mm -hmm. Of course you have, no shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. I know a lot of people who are going to see this video are probably going to see the thumbnail and title and instantly dislike the video and write some mean shit in the comments. You'll probably call me a blue pill NPC whose wife gets sodomized by African males. Um, to that I say, good, good for you. You're entitled to your own opinion. I would never hamper your freedom of speech and also your mean comments do wonders for my engagement, so keep writing them. Uh, <laughs> um, to an extent, if you act like this, I also perceive you as a dipshit bot ass NPC as well. Uh, to the few red pill people and right toy people who actually made it this far into my rambling video essay, thank you. You're the people I want to reach and you still might disagree with me, which is fine, but sincerely thank you for hearing me out to this point. In spite of everything, I still love you guys, because on some level you acknowledge the inequality of the world. You may not be able to correctly identify the issues or provide accurate solutions to the problems, but at least I see you guys trying in your weird, fucked up way. Look, I'm a fucking boomer fossil, okay? I've been doing this political ting since fucking 2011. I come from the atheist Gamergate days of the internet. The, the pixel hipster has always been lurking in the shadows of... <laughs> the shadows of 4chan. It's like Bane. I was in the pit. The clouds rising. Mm, that's bad, Bane. Mm. Have you read Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life? Have you read Capitalist Realism by Mark Fisher? <laughs> the fire is rising. I got that. Right. The fire is rising. Uh, when was that? <laughs> what was I up to? Um, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was I saying again? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've been doing it longer or maybe I'm a bit older than the average Andrew Tate fan, <laughs> but when I speak to these red pill pussies, uh, it's like having a conversation about baby's first political analysis. It's such a superficial surface level understanding of political economy. Uh, he got Bugatti, I want Bugatti, so cool, I want to be rich too, uh, I love fast car. I think kickboxing's cool. Okay, Sneaker, calm down. We, 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 we get it. We get it. You get it. We, you get it. Your dad fucking walked out on you when you were fucking 12. <laughs> uh, I think I can confidently say I understand the red pill ideology better than most red pill guys. I feel like I've outpaced the red pill ideology, intellectually speaking. 
meh, 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 meh. <laughs> to end this video, I'm gonna do something a little different. This is the part of the video where I usually get weird and emotional using my sneaky debate tactics and sly editing. The music would build up and I'd say something gay and pretentious like I'm so fucking base and pixel pilled. You lot are all so gosh darn stupid. Ah, we live in a society and then the bass fucking drops, you know. <laughs> Every pixel hipster video ever. <laughs> Uh, this video I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to end this video with, with a joke. I was walking down the street the other day uh, on my way to work uh, and then some soy boy hippie cuck came up to me and said uh, Can you please sign this uh, anti-violence petition? I looked into his cold, dead, little beady eyes with pure disgust and then I drop kicked him in the face. <laughs> and you know why I did that? And do, you, do you want to know why I did that? It's because left wing or right wing, red pill, or blue pill. I've never denounced violence. I am pro-violence. I So leftoid or rightoid, we can agree on one thing. Fuck those goddamn centrists in the middle. Let's take their ass to deep ocean. ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。getting your text now why does everyone always text me while i'm recording it's just like they just know anyway what was i saying um yes yeah, so welcome to the end of the video um if you enjoyed it like subscribe share do all the good doobly doos if you could if you would um i know i'm a broken record and i say this at the end of every video is like yeah i know it's been like fucking eight months since i've uploaded but whatever i'm going to upload consistently all right yeah just you wait it's 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 gonna happen this time if this is the 15th time i've said it and it's it's gonna happen this time for sure but anyway um that's it love you guys i don't know fucking oh god my elbow fuck